one of the absolute keys is you need to have a process because one of the beauties of a process is it takes it allows you to step back from the emotion because you've got a process that you're paying attention to and it it gives you a chance mm -hmm. of being a little bit less emotional and um, that's huge one of the things I always talked to Susan about when we were, because Susan and I have been together for over 12 years, right. and mm -hmm. she's been doing this now for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And um, But one of the things that we always was that she's got to have her own nuances because on the philosophy, because when, when the stress comes, mm -hmm. it can't be because somebody told you what the answer is. It's got to be something you in your gut believe. And if you do, then you have the chance of being methodical and less emotional. And uh, she's got that in spades. Um, but it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and it, and it takes innate, it, it just takes experience because you learn over time what you really believe and then how to, how to harness that. I think it's very important um, and to have consistent process and then that process because it has been working it has proven to be able to deliver consistent alpha over time that create a comfort zone for us and it's important to have a comfort zone when you make a decision and we always say one good decision leads to another good decision one bad decision leads to another bad decision that's part of the behavioral finance and, and Tom and I we have a, a, a room of th thumb and let's say um, if there's a stock that keeps us up at night, or there's a stock when you walk into office, you immediately, your eyes immediately go into that stock on your screen, and your mind is completely preoccupied by that stock, which means that position size is probably too big for you. And, and, and that's part of managing your risk when you, as a portfolio manager, when you create a portfolio, how to manage your position risk in the portfolio is critical. Because if you spend most of your time focusing on one particular stock or one particular risk, you're sub-optimizing the rest of your portfolio. So in that scenario, in that example, we think it's better off, even you like that stock, you're attached to that stock, it's better off for you to cut the position. So you can take that stock out of your mind and you, you can focus on really rational decision-making process and you can focus on true portfolio management function on a daily basis.